Good morning on a very chilly day here in Vilnius, Lithuania, more specifically the station district of Vilnius, which in 2022 was ranked the fifth coolest neighborhood in the world. Hi, I'm Laura. 11 years ago, my boyfriend Luke and I set off for a gap year that accidentally changed our lives. Since we left home in 2010, we have lived in New Zealand, Australia, South Korea, Mexico, and are now living in Lithuania. These videos are a small window into the adventures we seek along the way. Every year, Time Out magazine puts out an article about the coolest neighborhoods in the world. The article is based on a survey of 27,000 people. And in a world of over 7 billion, it's worth noting that we should perhaps take these lists with a pinch of salt. But they are a fun way to learn more about the world around us, and it gave me some motivation to explore more of the city that I have fallen in love with since moving to Lithuania back in July of last year. The station district is, as the name suggests, centered around the main train station here in Vilnius, and sits at the southern edge of the city center and popular old town of Vilnius. I thought we'd start the day with the station, since that's the name of this neighborhood, <laughs> and uh, because it's inside, so let's go in. The train station was originally built in 1861, when the St. Petersburg to Warsaw train line was being constructed. That station was destroyed during World War II, and the current station was rebuilt in 1950 in the socialist realism style, a style designed by the Soviet Union. It was renovated again in 2001. At the moment, trains are running only to cities within Lithuania. However, there used to be lines to Riga, Kaliningrad, St. Petersburg, and Minsk. Now there are talks of completely renovating the station in the coming years with a much more modern style and an eye on sustainability. So there is a bar here at the station, actually right here on the platform, as you can see. Um, and it's not open because it's Sunday morning, <laughs> but uh, it's supposed to be very cool. And there is one thing in particular that makes it stand out and it's pretty random. The bar is called Peronas, which means platform in Lithuanian. And outside of the bar is a giant statue of Tony Soprano, as in the mobster from the famous show The Sopranos. And he's wearing his underwear. I've heard besides the unique statue that it's a very cool bar and one that I will do my best to visit when it's open and perhaps when it's a little bit warmer to sit outside on the platform with a beer. And if I'm lucky, I can have one before hopping on a train for another adventure. No cool neighborhood is complete without a good coffee shop. So I am on the hunt for a good one that I have found on Google Maps. And uh, not only do they do good coffee, but I think they do cinnamon rolls that look absolutely incredible. So let's go sample those. Druska, Milte, Vanduo. Salt, flour, water. The three things you need to make bread. And that's exactly what they do at this cute little bakery amongst many other things. They serve the coffee in a cute little cup and saucer. And it wasn't just cute, it tasted incredible. It was strong and smooth and thankfully, the cafe was nice and warm inside away from that cutting wind. so cute oh my gosh it had they make their own bread it had loads of pastries and the coffee was so good up there with the, the top the top three i'd say that i've had here in vilnius in general now we're gonna do some uh street art scouting there's loads of it around this neighborhood and then we'll finish with the Halas market which is supposed to be pretty cool i popped in there once before when i first moved here but i haven't been back so we have to check it out 
Fear not, I did not forget about the cinnamon rolls. I got one to go because it was just a little bit early uh, to have a sugar, but I will be sampling that uh, after lunch, so hold, hold on till the end. So there is a sushi place in the station neighborhood that the internet claims is the best sushi in Vilnius. Unfortunately, it's closed on Sundays and Mondays, so I can neither confirm nor deny this information. However, I have heard that there is an awesome restaurant inside the Halas Market that serves food from Uzbekistan. I've never been there, but uh, I'd like to try it, so that's where we're headed now. Hala's Market is one of the largest and oldest markets in Vilnius. It was built in 1906, and in 2006, on its 100th anniversary, they completed restoration of the building, which is now home to vendors selling meat, fish, cheese, fruits and vegetables, honey, shoes, clothing, and tons of other wares, as well as several restaurants and cafes that line the edges of the market. When I first visited the market, I was nervous about approaching vendors since I didn't really speak any Lithuanian. But many of the vendors actually speak excellent English, and those that don't are happy to mime and work with you to get through whatever you want from their stall. The food here looks incredible. Hales Plovas is one of the spots that the Time Out article recommends visiting on your tour of the station district. And boy, am I glad I stopped here. After posting about it on Instagram, it seems that most Lithuanians are familiar with this dish, as were a lot of my friends who live in other parts of Europe. But this was my first time trying it, and it will definitely not be my last. If those are the flavors of Uzbekistan, I think we need to go there. That meal was so good, and it was pretty affordable. I got that big bowl of food with all of the um, pickles on the side, which were excellent. Uh, for six euros, they have bigger bowls as well for eight euros, and they also have soup, uh, but I wasn't too, too hungry. This market is also very large. I didn't, I don't think I experienced the whole thing last time I was here. There's clothing, there's raw meats, there's loads of fruits and vegetables, and then around the edges, just like that place that I just went to, there are loads of restaurants and cafes and stuff. So yeah, very worthwhile going in here. I'm going to head back towards the train station on a different road and see if there's anything else cool to see. And uh, we'll finish off with the uh, mural that was painted this year uh, when the city, this neighborhood was saved to be the coolest uh, title. The train station isn't the only station in the station district. It's also the bus station, which is perhaps my most visited place here in Vilnius. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll give you a quick little look at the illustrious Vilnius bus station. While the bus station may not be the most beautiful place in Vilnius, it connects you to absolutely anywhere you want to go in Lithuania, as well as international routes to Latvia, Estonia, Poland, Germany, and more. I am back home now and well windswept. <laughs> it got cold today. However, I did want to try this cinnamon roll because I promised I would, and we gotta see how good it is, you know? How good is a cafe if it's cinnamon buns that they swear by? They're any good, so let's try the bite. Ooh, she's sticky. Big boy. Mmm. It got a little bit cold in my bag. <laughs> it's like it's been in the fridge. Mmm. It's fluffy, it's sweet, but it's not too sweet. I like that about pastries around Lithuania in general that I've had. The icing is all the sweetness and then it's super cinnamony. I'm gonna eat the rest of this and uh, have a cup of tea that I just made. I hope you enjoyed this tour around the fifth coolest neighborhood in the world. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. It really supports my channel and I will see you next time. Bye.